The murder of 27-year-old Darrington Laureano, just two weeks after his elder brother was met with a similar fate, is another tragedy the grief-stricken family is forced to deal with. Laureano, no stranger to the law, was gunned down inside Mike's club on Saturday evening as he sat with a group of men. Sometime after 6 p.m. on Saturday, the 12th of April, police responded to a call at the Mike's uh, club at number 17 Region Street West. And upon their arrival at that uh, club, they saw the lifeless body of Darrington Robert Laureano, 27 years, uh, lying face down in a pool of blood. Laureano had been shot multiple times by a lone gunman. The killer reportedly entered the premises, fired a volley of rounds at his quarry, then exited, leaving Laureano to hemorrhage from the deadly injuries. Checks of the body revealed that he had been shot several times, one to the right side of the forehead, uh, one beneath the nose, uh, one to his left arm and his right cheek. Uh, what we learned from that investigation so far, that he was sitting in the establishment when a lone gunman entered the said establishment and fired several shots upon Darrington Laureano, fatally wounding him. His history of run-ins with the law is extensive, not to be mistaken with his namesake, a San Pedro resident who was recently arraigned for firearm and drug possession. Darrington Laureano's last recorded court appearance was for burglarizing the home of his ex-girlfriend in July of last year. Who killed him and why are questions that Belize City Police are trying to have answered. At this time we don't really have a motive, but the officers are out uh, dealing with this uh, most recent murder. On March 30th, Laureano's brother, Hector Dean Lyons, also known as Bad Card, was expunged shortly after winning a substantial sum of money in the Sunday lottery. Lyons was shot once to the head and executed a stone's throw away from where his younger sibling would later be killed. Somebody called, not my phone, but my daughter's husband's phone, and tell him, said, Dean, just get shot at Mike's club. And I jumped up because I never one time, you know, I know I just come out and I was shook, right? I said, I what? Then she did tell me, said, Ma, he said, Dean, just get shot. I said, Jesus Christ, will I start to pray? I said, I hope he's not dead. I got to tell him. You know, and then, not even when I go three minutes after then called back and say that he's dead. And I have to come and identify something and go to the precinct. It is unclear whether these incidents are in any way related. There are, however, concerns about the location where the men were killed. I do not know what um, security that club has in place. But I know it's a club that is always open, and from my recollection, it's also a member club. It has a member club license. Laureano's attacker is described as a dark-complexioned male, clad in a white T-shirt. It's a rather ambiguous description, one that does very little to advance the progress of the criminal investigation. I haven't been briefed since um, this morning about any further success, but like I said, the officers are out, and they're working on this um, said murder. And so far, I think it was only Kamala who came forward to identify the body. And um, they, they, they continue to work on the investigation. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kertano.